Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this red house up in Monhegan. This is an iconic house sitting right in the harbor. All right, so you begin by placing, I, I just use a circle, but you, you want to place the center of interest, which is the house. And I'm going to place it higher up on my paper because when you have a when you have your subject up high in your, in your painting where people are looking up to it, it's much more dramatic and adds, adds a nice drama to the painting. All right, let's paint this. Uh, I'm gonna start with a uh, wash of Aurelian Yellow, and I'm also wetting the paper here at the same time. Paper is very dry. All right, on top of the yellow, I'm dropping some rose. You've seen me do this many times. Uh, this rose, it creates a nice warm color. You can see that orangey color underneath, and that creates a glow in the sky, which is beautiful. And now I'm putting cobalt blue on top of it. Notice that I'm not going back to the well to get more color, because I want it to get lighter as it comes down. All right, I'm taking a towel here, and I'm putting some clouds in. All right, I'm just, first go in and just tap the shape that you want of the clouds. Uh, just, you know, make a general big shape and then wrap the towel around your thumb and you can press harder so that you create these really beautiful edges on the cloud. Okay, however you want to do it. So it's all wet now. It's still, all that sky is wet and you're able to pick that paint right out of it. I find it one of the best ways to do clouds, but there's a few ways. All right, I'm taking some raw sienna and I'm just putting a touch of Quincy in it into that uh, to warm it up. And I'm just gonna cover the whole, uh, all, all of earth there. And then I'm taking the towel and just tapping those rocks. You know, I wanna get some nice light on those rocks. So I don't have to have them white, but I just wanna get them lighter. All right, I'm mixing up some phthalo blue and a touch of cadmium red for that uh, ocean color and just painting the shape right now letting it come down I'm lifting off a little of the color on the left side to show that the light is hitting that ocean all right I'm putting a little more Quincy in a uh, another sort of layer on that leaving a few lights on the rocks I just wanted the earth to be much darker than it turned out to be so and this will dry very light as you'll see but I wanted it to be lighter warmer I mean okay all right so we get that covered get it dried up you can use your dryer on it if you want all right the house itself is uh, cadmium red with cobalt blue uh, and just I'm just gonna paint the whole shape right now don't worry about doors and windows and any of the details at all uh, there's a little peak on the house that, that has light on it, and I'm leaving that uh, just to show that the house, that the light is coming over the corner there. All right, there's the chimney. Just paint all over that dormer. Yeah, the chimney. All the same color here. Uh, I want to get the color in. I want to get the shape covered, and then what I'm going to do is is charge it with some uh, cadmium red to get more of the the red color of the house. There it is. Okay, so I'm just putting a little cadmium red on top of it. That'll dry right into that. You'll get a nice uh, a nice sort of almost indirect light, you know, reflective light uh, to make that glow, but, all right, so I'm just basically painting that whole shape. Now, I can see here where I'm, when I'm doing that uh, gazebo, you know, the roof on the gazebo, that it's a little too big, you know, I made it a little too big, and I'm gonna leave it for now so that I can show you how to uh, correct that. All right, I can see that it's, it's a little too wide. So I'm just gonna put these poles into where I want it to stop, which is about right there. I'll go all the way down. So I'm gonna knock off a quarter inch or more on the right side. So right now I'm just gonna tap it with a towel and a little water, a 
on the towel to wash it and then I'll paint the rest of this gazebo. So I had it a little bit too wide uh, in my drawing. You can see how that, that's settling into a beautiful tone on the house itself, that cadmium red just, you know, I charged it up and I'm doing it here too. Uh, I charged it up there and it all, you know, just sort of uh, washes into the rest of the color, merges into it. Gives you a beautiful, beautiful tone. Okay, I'm just working still on the shape of the house. There's a porch on the left side. You see the railings and so forth. All right. It's a little violet on the roof uh, of the gazebo. All right, I'm painting the uh, rocks now, it's just a dark, this quinacridone with some ultramarine blue. And I'm just painting the dark side of these rocks, you know, the shadow side, leaving the light on top. As I said, these rocks are important because they're, they're the larger rocks and they're in that uh, area and they lead us up to the house, you know, so we want to put some other, uh, the other rocks we put in will be the same, uh, you know, with the same concept of, of creating a path for the viewer's eye to go up to those, uh, go up to the house. All right. So there's going to be some other rocks. You know, there's a lot of rocks in this picture, but we don't need them all. You know, I'm just spattering some color here and there. You know, the light, you can see that. There's not going to be light on all of them. And then there's a whole path of rocks against the water. So I just, you know, it, they're sort of a gray color, but I, I just added a little blue to the, to the color I had. And I'm going to wash that right down that path. So that shows us a nice, a nice silhouette against the water. You know, that's a, it's a nice little harbor. If you haven't been to Monhegan, you, you have to go once, I guess, at least. It's a beautiful spot. All right. All right, there's a, you know, there's a bush on the left side and there's some grass growing. We just want to sort of indicate that. This is an ultramarine with uh, quinacridone sienna. And I have a brush that I use for this stuff. It's just an old worn out brush and it's dry and it, you know, I, I do the scumbling with the brush. So just create a, a bush there all leading us up to the house. You can see everything's pointing up towards that house. Very dark base to it, so pushing the ultramarine on the bottom, but it's, it's really black. So here's the correction. I, I use my credit card and I use the toothbrush and just scrape out, you know, I'm, I'm using against the white clouds and just clean it up. You get a nice clean edge, tap it with a towel, okay? So that brings us back to that right size there. All right, I'm gonna put another wash on this house. I want it to be darker. I love, the, I love the red that's there, but it's just, the value is just not dark enough. So I want it to be a little darker. So this is just ultramarine, I'm sorry, cobalt blue with uh, the red. And I'm just washing the whole shape again. I'm sorry, that is ultra. I'm using the ultramarine on the second wash. And then I'm charging it up again on the, you know, the points that are closest to the viewer. I'm adding a little red to it. And right along that uh, side of the house and in the dormer here. And then I'm taking that violet, which is ultramarine and red and just washing it right down. That's the shadow on the house. It's very strong. It creates a beautiful shape.
Okay, I'm using uh, some raw sienna with a touch of that um, quinacridone sienna in the, on, the, on Manana, which is the island there. And I'm just doing it as a wash. I want that to come down so that we have a little lighter uh, top there. That'll all wash right down. You know, normally you do that with a little uh, maybe cobalt blue or cooler color to send it back, but it's so close to us. All right, I'm putting the windows in. Now, I don't want a lot of attention to the window, so all I'm doing is taking a, a flat brush here with a little moisture on it and painting the windows and then touching it with a towel so that it shows an indication of the window. I'm not, no detail, you know, you don't need any detail. You don't want to break up this beautiful big shape too much. You know, that, there's a beautiful shape on that house. And you don't want to break it up too much. So I'm just painting in the windows with, you know, a little bit of moisture on my brush and then just pat it with a towel. Just enough to, you know, don't press too hard. You don't want to get back to the white of the paper. And there's a dormer up there with more windows in it. Okay. That's all, just an indication of it. I don't want this corner to be a little bit warmer. I'm putting a little more cadmium red in that corner and leaving the right edge of that a little lighter so it shows, shows the curve. Okay, so th that's pretty much it. A little, some little indications of the roof line and so forth. And then I, I added, you'll see I added uh, a couple of small lobster boats in the water there to finish it off. Okay, thank you so much for uh, joining me. I love these uh, Monhegan paintings, they're so much fun. Thanks very much. Please subscribe and like. Very important. Thanks again, and I will see you again very soon.